Hi guys, it's Rumi the Math Person, and I'll be going over question 270 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you attempted it, let's just dive right in. The lifetime of a machine is exponentially distributed with a mean of 5 years. Calculate the mean lifetime of the part given that it survives less than 10 years. Okay, we're looking for the expectation of x given x survives less than 10 years. Okay, and then what else do we know? Well, we know we do know the exponential distribution formula, which f of x is just defined to be 1 over 5 e to the negative t over 5. And the CDF, f of x, is defined to be just 1 minus e to the negative t over 5. Okay. And this is an x, um, this is a conditional probability or c pr conditional expectation. So we're just, we can just find the expectation of x given x is less than 10 divided by the probability that x is less than 10. Okay, the probability that x is less than 10 is just 1 minus, using our CDF formula right here, is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative t, negative 5, I mean 10 over 5, which is just 2. And then we're looking for the expectation. Okay, so that just means I'm going to just do the numerator part right here. A little side note, side insert right here. So expectation of x given x is less than 10 is just equal to from going from 0 to 10 instead. Because since um, expectation is bounded between 0 to infinity, and we're just finding our expectation. 1 fifth e to the negative t over 5 dx. Okay, I need to stop using random variables. <laughs> like <laughs> assigning t then um, x later. Okay, so then this is just defined. We can just do integration by parts. If you need to see the integration video, I have that down below as well. Make sure you check it out. X e to the negative, oh, negative e, negative x e to the negative x over fifth minus e to the negative, f minus five times e to the negative x over fifth. Okay, so this is equal to, defined from zero to 10. So this is equal to negative 10 e to the negative 2 minus 5 e to the negative 2 minus, if I plug in 0, that's just positive. My minus minus makes a positive, so this is equal to 5 e to the negative, oh, just 5. Okay. So I'm going to put this formula on top of our thing right here. So this is equal to 5 minus 10 e to the negative 2. Or actually, this is just equal to 15, right? negative 15 e to the negative 2. Let me type that into my calculator real quick. Okay, so this is equal to 3.43, which is our answer e. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!